embarking on the journey of Red Dead Online presents a unique blend of storytelling, exploration, and survival in the untamed heart of the American frontier. For newcomers, the game starts with a promise of boundless adventure but quickly unfolds into a challenging ordeal as Rockstar's initial guidance fades, leaving players to fend for themselves in a vast open world. This abrupt transition can be particularly rough because the game's most engaging and rewarding content, such as specialized roles offering unique gameplay experiences, is locked behind a paywall. The requirement of 15 gold bars to access these roles poses a significant hurdle, especially since accumulating this amount of gold is a slow process in the early stages of the game. In today's video, we will dive into strategies and tips to navigate through these initial beginning challenges, aiming to equip players with the knowledge to unlock and thrive in the game's multifaceted roles, ensuring a rich and rewarding experience in the world of Red Dead Online. So if you are just beginning in RDO, this video is for you. However, if you are a veteran player, I would advise you to stick around as well, and maybe even leave any tips you think of yourselves in the comments below to further help out the growing RDR2 community. With that being said, if you enjoy videos like this one, please be sure to subscribe, as 99% of viewers have not done so. Now let's get into your beginner's guide to Red Dead Online. The journey in Red Dead Online begins at the character customization screen. While this process is largely cosmetic, it sets the tone for the player's immersion in the game world. The importance of satisfaction with one's character cannot be understated, as subsequent alterations require the game's premium currency, gold bars. After customization, the tutorial serves as the player's introduction to the game's mechanics and narrative underpinnings. This phase is crucial for understanding the basics of gameplay and the initial storyline, culminating in the acquisition of a treasure map. This map introduces players to the concept of exploration and treasure hunting, foundational elements of the game, as you will receive a treasure map every five levels you level up. Upon completion of the tutorial, the game's true nature as an open-world experience becomes apparent. You are left to your own devices, with the vast expanse of the frontier before you. This is where strategic planning becomes essential. The game's roles, bounty hunter, collector, trader, naturalist, and moonshiner, represent the core of Red Dead Online's gameplay, each offering unique activities, challenges, and rewards that go along with the playstyle of your choice. However, the entry fee of 15 to 25 gold bars for these roles means that new players must first focus on accumulating wealth. For new players, engaging with daily challenges emerges as a pivotal strategy for both immediate and long-term success. These challenges, which refresh daily, offer a structured pathway to earn gold bars, a premium currency essential for unlocking the game's diverse roles and purchasing key upgrades. Beyond the tangible rewards, daily challenges serve as a practical introduction to the game's mechanics, encouraging players to explore various aspects of gameplay, from hunting and fishing to competitive showdowns. Moreover, maintaining a streak of completed challenges significantly increases the rewards, providing an added incentive for regular engagement. The game's main missions, part of the Land of Opportunities narrative, are a primary source of income and gold at this stage, and play a pivotal role in overcoming the initial gold bar paywall to unlock the role of your choice. They not only provide financial rewards, but also deepen the player's engagement with the game's world and characters. This early phase of the game is critical for players to familiarize themselves with the mechanics, setting, and potential pathways to success within the vast open world. Strategic planning at this juncture involves choosing missions wisely, managing resources effectively, not spending all of your money, and gradually working towards unlocking the roles that offer deeper, more rewarding gameplay experiences that also align with the playstyle you have and the experience you want to get out of the game. The Land of Opportunities missions are intricately designed to blend with the players on a level, a dynamic system reflecting the moral choices made throughout the game. This system adds a layer of complexity, as certain missions become available only under specific conditions of honor or dishonor, encouraging players to explore the consequences of their actions. Through these missions, you will start making a little income that can be reinvested into a role. Other than the Land of Opportunities missions, the Blood Money missions also offer a new avenue for players to earn gold and money, 
These missions extend the gameplay options available to players, introducing tasks that, while repetitive, offer higher payouts than standard missions. This segment of the game symbolizes the grind that players must embrace to progress, involving a mix of strategy, persistence, and exploration of the game's various systems, including daily challenges and awards. The ultimate goal is to accumulate enough gold bars to unlock the desired roles, marking the transition from a newcomer to an established player in the game's economy. When it comes to choosing a role, picking the Bounty Hunter role as the first major investment offers strategic advantages. This role is the only one that rewards you with gold bars, as well as money for each mission completed, further providing a steady income stream to fund future adventures and role acquisitions. The bounty boards scattered across the game world become focal points for engaging content, offering a variety of targets that challenge the player's skills and strategic thinking. As players progress through the ranks of the bounty hunter, the missions increase in difficulty and reward. Also, while leveling up your bounty hunter role, you will be given access to some cool-looking gear and some of the best horses in the game. This role serves as a gateway to the broader world of Red Dead Online that lays the foundation for success in other roles. The collector role, on the other hand, praised for its lucrative potential in earning cash through the discovery of collectibles across the vast game world, offers an unparalleled opportunity for wealth accumulation. While this role can be boring, Leveling up in the role can be completed fast by finding collectible maps online and simply going to that location in-game. Meanwhile, the Trader and Moonshiner roles introduce players to the economic and bootlegging aspects of frontier life, offering passive income streams and immersive storylines. However, they require initial investments and patience to fully reap their benefits. The Naturalist role, though offering a deep dive into the game's wildlife, is often viewed as less essential in the early stages of player progression due to its specialized nature and slower pace of reward accumulation. Comparatively, the bounty hunter and collector roles emerge as the most advantageous for new players, providing immediate and substantial benefits that significantly enhance the gaming experience. A critical aspect of early gameplay that often goes overlooked is the selection of weapons. The game offers an extensive arsenal, but focusing on a core set of versatile weapons can significantly enhance the player's ability to engage with the game's varied content. The right weapon selection is crucial for maximizing efficiency in hunting, combat, and mission completion, serving as the foundation for a player's success in the game. The Varmint Rifle is indispensable for hunting small game and is crucial for those pursuing the collector and naturalist roles thanks to its ability to use sedative ammunition for animal sedation. For stealth approaches and hunting larger game without compromising pelt quality, the bow is unparalleled. Then the Lancaster Repeater emerges as the superior choice for combat with NPCs and other players, celebrated for its precision and versatility across different combat situations. In close combat scenarios, the pump action or repeating shotgun proves essential, simplifying encounters with NPCs and offering utility in hunting legendary animals when used in conjunction with specific ability cards. Upon reaching level 25, you will be given the option to dual-wield revolvers. It would be smart to choose between the Navy Revolver or Lemat Revolver based on personal preference, as these guns will significantly boost a player's offensive capabilities. Both the Bolt Action Rifle and the Vicarcano Rifle are known for high damage output and accuracy, making them indispensable across hunting, PV, and PvP modes. Lastly, the Mazza Pistols stand out in PvP engagements due to their rapid fire rate and substantial ammo capacity, making them a formidable option against other players. This comprehensive guide to armament equips you with the knowledge to select weapons that offer unique advantages, ensuring that you can confidently navigate the game's challenges and engage in its diverse activities with strategic superiority. Along with a strong weapon arsenal, special ability cards represent a critical component of a player's playstyle, offering unique enhancements that significantly alter gameplay dynamics and strategies. These cards are divided into three categories, Dead Eye, which affects the player's Dead Eye ability, Passive, which provides ongoing benefits, and Recovery, which influences health regeneration rates. Each card can be upgraded to increase its effectiveness, allowing players to tailor their abilities to suit their playstyle. 
For instance, the Paint It Black Dead Eye card allows players to mark targets in real time, facilitating precise shots, while passive cards like Strange Medicine grant health upon dealing damage, blending offense with recovery. The strategic selection and combination of these cards enable players to create personalized loadouts. Another essential card is Never Without One, offering protection by allowing your hat to block one headshot, and if you're not wearing a hat, you take less damage from bullets. This card is particularly useful for new players who might find themselves vulnerable in unexpected skirmishes. Together, these ability cards form a solid foundation, offering new players a blend of offensive capability, survivability, and adaptability. Now that you have an understanding of how the game works and a weapon arsenal you can rely on, we can talk about the PvP modes. These game modes offer a change of pace and can be enjoyable, though they are not the most efficient way to earn gold. However, pay attention to monthly updates that will sometimes offer triple gold, money, and XP on roll work, as well as PvP game modes, turning repetitive tasks into a worthy grind. As we wrap up this video, it's clear that the journey for new players is filled with endless possibilities, challenges, and adventures. From the initial steps of character creation and mastering the tutorial to strategically engaging with daily challenges, selecting roles, and optimizing special ability cards, the path to prosperity and prowess in the game is as diverse as the frontier itself. Whether you're drawn to the thrill of the hunt as a bounty hunter, the allure of treasure as a collector, or the satisfaction of building an empire as a trader or moonshiner, Red Dead Online offers a unique narrative for every player. Remember, the key to thriving in this dynamic world lies in exploration, adaptation, and engagement with the community. I hope this video helped you. If you enjoyed it, be sure to check out the videos on your screen now. Thanks for watching.